Hey y'all, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you joined me today. And we are talking about the new Maybelline The Matte Bar. Now, when I seen this online, I definitely thought it was bigger. It's pretty well the same size as their peach collection, their chocolate collection. It is not big. I don't know why, but online things just look bigger. They, they just do. But this is $12. Let's see, three, six, seven, it comes with 10 shades. And I have it on today. I have this look and then I do a tutorial of another look. So I think that's really all I need to say, but I hope you guys enjoy this. And let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so don't mind this mess on my head. But we are going in with the matte bar. I'm sure you know this from the intro. But we are first going to start out with this shade. And then this one. And then this one. So I don't have to keep pulling it up. It's just easier to do it like that. Online, like I said, this looked way bigger. A big fluffy brush is quite hard to get in there. So we're just going to start by putting this in our upper transition area just lightly and then blending it out i just want to put this on so the darker colors will blend a bit better but we're not going to use much of it but it is showing up on my skin so not complaining all right and then like i said we're going in with that more orangey shade and we're going to kind of put this right on top of the more brown shade. And then we're just gonna blend and build this up. Blend and build it up. I'm not taking this shade up too high, but I want those edges to be blended. So I'm just kinda doing circular motions and blending up. All right, and then I took my Firma 201 brush in with the darker shade. And we are focusing this right in the actual crease. And then I switched brushes because I did not like that brush. So going back in with my Morphe brush here. And just building the color up. I'm also laying a little bit down on my outer corner here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this darker brown right here and put more of that on our outer corner here. And I'm taking this at an angle. Now, I'm going in with a little bit of Catrice um, concealer right here. And I'm taking a flat synthetic brush and we are going to cut our crease. We're just going to do like a half cut crease. We're going to do it. God, I hope this was in front of my face again. We're going to do it just like that. No big deal. I'm going to grab my Eco Tools brush. And we are going to take this shade right here and put it all where we just put the concealer. And this shade is a bit powdery. Oh shoot, forgot to wipe off my brush. So now there's some brown on our inner corner. So let me try to put the white over top of that. All right, it's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna grab this little bitty Luxie 141 and we're going back in with this shade right here and right above that crease we're gonna carve that out. Some people do this before, I do it after. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of it and run it right along our edge here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that pale shade and run it on the brow bone. The lower lash line, I'm gonna grab the orangey shade and poke myself directly in the eyeball. And then on our little bitty brush, 
I'm gonna grab the darker shade. And just like that, I really like it. All right, I'm going to go off camera, finish up, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the look. I think it turned out really, really nice. I think everything blended out really, really well, but I wanna make sure that it's not gonna wear off or anything like that. So I'm gonna do a wear test. I've got a hair appointment. I'm gonna go get my hair done. And after I get done running all my errands and all that, we'll come back and we'll check in and we'll see how this eye looks. I have on Eyelore 117 lashes and I use the Tarte Tartist Liner. Struggled with it a little bit. I think it might be getting a little bit old and a little bit dry, but this wing, we really struggled. So we're just gonna focus over here. But yeah, I'll see you guys in just a few. Okay, so I had something come up and I could not do a check-in. So that gave me a little bit longer to play with the palette more. And today I have it on and I just focused on, let's see, this pink shade right here. And then I went in with a little bit of this as a transition. And that was it. I put some of the Pixie, what are these called? Liquid Fairy Lights. That's what is the sparkle on my lid. And I will say everything blends out really, really nicely. The pink shade I have on today is a little bit finicky and can be a little bit patchy if you don't really watch what you're doing. But it's very minimal. It's not super hard to work with. So for a drugstore palette, I mean, it's 12 bucks. I really, really like this palette. So I would definitely recommend it if you are in the market for more mattes. Absolutely, every shade in this palette I have used. And the only one that's just a smidge harder to work with is the pink. And I mean, it's a pink. So I totally understand that. I'm gonna insert the picture to show you guys. That was 12 hours that I had had it on and it did not fade at all. It looked beautiful. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I really hope you guys subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.